The mayors of nine of the largest cities in Texas, including San Antonio Mayor Ron Nuremberg, signing off on a letter to Governor Greg Abbott today. They are requesting more power be put in the hands of local officials in enforcing face coverings. It's been a topic of discussion since the start of this pandemic. And in today's letter, the mayors of Houston, Dallas, Austin, Grand Prairie, Arlington, El Paso, Fort Worth and Plano joining Mayor Ron Nuremberg in that request, saying, quote, a one size fits all approach is not the best option, end quote. The letter goes on to say one of the best ways to keep businesses open and people safe from COVID-19, the wearing of face masks. Yet many people in many of our cities are still refusing to wear these face coverings, even though these coverings are scientifically proven to help prevent the disease from spreading. We should trust local officials, it goes on to say, to make informed choices about health policy. And if mayors are given the opportunity to require face coverings, we believe our cities will be ready to help reduce the spread of this disease, end quote. This letter comes on the same day that the state has seen the biggest spike in cases since the pandemic began. In a news conference today, Governor Greg Abbott listed examples of why these numbers are so high, reasons he says should calm the public's fears. Our Courtney Friedman gives us a rundown along with the governor's reaction to multiple requests that he mandate mass statewide. There are 2,622 new COVID-19 cases in Texas since yesterday, a record spike. That would be a big reason for concern. If, however, you look behind that number and, and look into the reason. Governor Greg Abbott spent the majority of his almost hour long press conference today explaining those reasons. He said hundreds of cases are coming from congregate settings like nursing homes and most commonly jails and prisons. We have completed testing well over a majority of those types of congregate settings. Know that jail and prison settings, uh, they have returned the highest positivity rate that we have seen in the state of Texas. Our recent surge in cases locally are not being tied to any outbreaks at nursing homes or the jail. According to Metro Health, we are dealing with more community spread. His medical experts showed five levels of hospital capacity, saying we are in the lowest level where hospitals are easily containing COVID patients. The increase occupancy of hospital beds, it does raise concerns, but as shown today, there is no reason right now to be alarmed. There are thousands of hospital beds that are available as we speak right now. And then there is the ability to surge even more hospital beds if they were ever to be needed. Throughout the speech, the governor mentioned wearing masks as one of the three necessary strategies to slowing the spread of COVID-19. He has not, however, mandated them, something Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf and Mayor Ron Nuremberg have now specifically requested. When asked by a reporter about other local Texas leaders asking the same thing, Abbott said, Wearing a mask is the best thing to do. Putting people in jail, however, is the wrong approach. A big question we were waiting for the governor to answer is about school. Will kids be able to go back to school in the fall? He says he believes schools will be able to reopen and hopes sports will be allowed, but said a formal announcement will be coming either at the end of this week or next week. Coming up at six tonight, Governor Abbott has a message for the younger population, mentioning the big spike of cases in people under 30 years old, specifically mentioning Bear County. Steve.